Mixing with Mic Mixing Tip. Why send return effects routing is better than using effects on inserts. So let's take a look at a session here. Um, what I have is a simple vocal track and I have a variety of sends uh, set up here. And uh, one thing I'm just gonna add on real quick is uh, another uh, bus here. So what I have now is um, a series of sends. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of call as many of these up as I can um, here on, uh, and just to kind of demonstrate uh, what's going on here. So what I've done here with the vocal track is I actually have um, a variety of sends that are set up. This uh, I'm just going to uh, disable. I'm not even sure exactly where that's going. Um, and uh, so what I have is uh, send effects that are going to a doubler effect, a reverb plate, uh, a, and two different delays. Um, one is doing um, just a short delay, kind of slap type of thing. The other one is doing longer delays, like echoes. And the, I'm going to show you why setting up in the send return configuration is so much more flexible and powerful. So this is going to actually wrap up a couple of ideas because I've had some requests recently about people asking, you know, how do you route the sends to create certain effects and all of those sorts of things. Because a lot of people, um, and especially if you're in a hurry, might put an effect processor or reverb right on the insert of the vocal track or whatever track and then use the mix uh, control for the wet dry. And the problem, of course, when you get to the mix stage is that um, now once you've created that, um, how do you now process the dry signal independent of the reverb? And so now you would have to apply your processing prior to the reverb. And then if you wanted to somehow equalize or do something different with the reverb that is not available in the plugin, then you kind of end up in a situation where you're sort of stuck with it. Um, and this is where setting up send return configurations works a whole lot better. Now, if I leave my signal dry, I can process it, I can mess it up, I can do anything that I want to it. And this gives me the ability to put my sends pre-fader or post-fader uh, any way that I want, uh, feed them out into um, uh, my reverb and delays, have independent mix controls over the sends and returns of each of those signals and where they end up going to. And I can create some quick balances. And then I'll also show you some really cool ways to add on top of that, right? To make that um, even more powerful, right? When you get up um, to the full mixing process. So um, so let's start by taking a look here at uh, how this kind of lays out with the vocal. So we'll start with all the Slow effects muted. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm. Okay, so that is the uh, the delay. Uh, let me get these kind of organized. That wasn't the one that I wanted. I kind of wanted the one which was the plate, so or the doubler. Slow down, baby. Take That's a the plate. moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm, there we stop go. for a minute. Come sit there with me. I can see you're afraid and I don't know what to tell you. You're scared I might. Now, I usually make sure there's enough signal level feeding in. Um, and so I may start even sometimes with my uh, send level at zero and then uh, bring the return level down, especially if it's a, a, um, a return that's exclusive to one track, like it is here with the lead vocal. Otherwise, I can kind of play with the, the balances here. I want to make sure that there's enough going into the doubler plugin, in this case, uh, for it to grab onto, to get that Slow kind of... Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you say. And now I also have a reverb effect. So let me just kind of mute it from the sense. Slow down, baby. Take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you say. All right. So Stop I got a little minute. bit of a, a width control here. And I want to kill my pre delay here for a second. So I want this to be um, just without pre delay. Slow down, baby. Take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. And now I can take this and I can Stop. do whatever I want with it in terms of the reverb time. I'm going to kind of leave as many plug-in windows as I can opened up here. And uh, this is a this is a delay number two. These are kind of short delays. And now I'm going to add these in. So these are in on the end, and we'll hear what those sound like. Slow down, baby. Take a moment and breathe. 
I can hear what you're saying. And these are kind of filtered down a little bit. Stop for a minute. Just to give sit a, with me. a little distance. I can see you're afraid. And I don't know what to tell you. You're scared I might fail you. So it adds like a little bit of depth and distance, which is kind of cool. Very early reflection like. Yes, that's a good that's a good point coming in on the chat here. Um, and uh, so now I can mix the two of these together. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can't hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute. So now if I want to kind of increase the quality of this effect, I can actually take some of this now on top of what I got here and feed some of this back into the doubler effect. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute. Come sit there with me. I can see you're afraid. And I don't know what to tell you. You're scared I'm And I kind of like that because uh, what it's doing is. And so you're leaving here before it goes wrong. Don't you know? You can't keep running from. It adds like another layer of depth to that. So now what I have is like a delay and then that's feeding back into um, a delayed return. So just kind of looking at what this doubler effect is doing here, it's a short delay, like around 20 milliseconds or so. This is uh, something that is very similar, just kind of whip this up here. So uh, very quickly, what I'll do is I'll kind of put these guys in in like a similar ballpark range and let's just see if this doesn't whack things out a little bit too much slow down baby take a moment and breathe i can hear what you're saying mm, stop for a minute come sit there with me so whether i leave that in or not um it can kind of help to add like a subtle level level of extra depth into it so now i can cross feed these effects into each other so imagine putting like a series of returns and sends on something like this and getting that to work so now let's kind of put in a little bit of reverb here slow down baby take a moment and breathe i can't hear what you're saying Mm, stop for a minute come sit there with me now i could put none of this in there um but what i can also do is i can now take the output of the doubler and put some of that into the plate slow down baby take a moment and breathe i can't hear what you're saying mm, stop for a minute come sit there with me push this up a little I bit can see you're afraid and i don't know what to tell you you're scared i might fail you and now if i want to i can take this off here and now that's getting a double feed from this so you can see how all the possibilities slow here. down baby take a moment and breathe i can hear what you're saying mm, stop for a minute come sit there with me I can see your refrain. And if I just want to use this as a sort of triggering engine, I can also feed these guys um, out pre-fader. And in which case I can now take the delay signal. Slow down, baby. Take a moment and breathe. So now the, there's an additional gain that's added saying. into that because I'm now mm, taking away adding like 10 dB. Come sit there with me. I can see your refrain and i don't know what to tell you you're scared i might fail you and so you're leaving and now that adds like a whole other layer to depth of depth almost a little bit more like an echo so now if i push these delays back in i can add some solidity to that slow down baby take a moment and breathe i can hear what you're saying so if it starts to phase out the Stop vocal, for a minute, come sit there with me. which is kind of doing, I, then I can take that out from there. Now, I can also decide I can take these out of the doubler and then just slow leave. Slow down, baby. Take a moment and breathe. I can't hear what you're saying. And now that just becomes a way of, of giving some effect. I kind of like the way it sounded here with this in and with this backed off. So we're just kind of, this is now acting as a pre-delay for the plate and then an extra feed into the doubler. Um, Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. 
I can hear what you say. And now, finally, I also have a um uh so uh what is this? This is uh this is the direct feed to the plate. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. So I can fill out that little space I in between. I can hear what you say. So this is like with no Stop delay. For a minute, come sit with me. So this can add warmth I to the voice if I feel like I need warmth. And I don't know what to tell ya. As you're opposed to an open sound. And so you're leaving here before it goes wrong. So like this without the pre-delay here um, set up. Um, on this, now it, the reverb sort of uh, is much closer to the vocal. It attaches to it, and it adds more warmth and body. When I feed it through the delays first, it separates. And I can also put in, uh, squeeze in a little bit of pre-delay, just a tiny little bit to create a little bit of separation. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you say. And this is without. Mm, stop for a minute. Come sit there with me. I can see you're afraid. And so the way that that works essentially is that when the reverb has no delay um, or pre-delay, it actually kind of attaches to the back of the vocal. And then um, in, if you lower the level of the voice and you start to filter it down, it'll start to sound more distant. And you usually bring the wet-dry balance uh, lean it more towards wet, the vocal will sound like it's coming from farther away. Um, but if you put a little pre-delay and you keep it sort of full frequency the way that it is and full bodied, then the reverb will sort of recede out to the back with the pre-delay. And that's why having the separate control of that um, is really helpful. And that just sort of expands on the existing delays that are there. Now, finally, I have echoes. Like, Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Stop for a minute. Come sit there with me. So what I have is just like a little bit of a ping-ponging kind of delay. Now here's something that um, I can really kind of warm this up, um, bring it way back, and then also kind of cross-feed a little bit of this into the plate. And this will add some depth. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send it pre-fader just like I did here. And I can leave these echo this Slow out. Slow down, baby. Take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute. Come sit there with me. I can see you're afraid. And I don't know what to tell ya. You. You're scared I might fail ya. And so you're leaving here before it goes wrong. Don't you know? And now what you hear like there's layers and layers of depth i can actually take and shorten the reverb time Slow a little down, bit slow down baby take a moment and breathe i can hear what you say and what that allows me to do is it allows mm, me to hear those echoes a little bit more a minute, come sit there with me i can see you're afraid and i don't know what to tell you you're scared i might fail you and so you're and now I can bring in the dry wrong, delays. Don't you know you can't keep running from where you belong again, oh yeah. And I'll find you, you again. So here on. Pretend, oh yeah. And I'll find you. Making sure you I have the right again. one here. No river too wide or mountain too high. I won't let goodbye be a final reply. Baby, we're far from the end. So if I now make these more so filtered. Come on, baby, let me help you believe in you and me. Come and now that'll help to make it more distant sounding. Uh, so I'm just gonna just gonna give a little bit back of those mid-range frequencies. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute. Come sit there with me. I can see you're afraid, and I don't know what to tell you. You're scared I might fail you.
So you could hear that kind of going on in the background now, and it may be like too much with all of these going on at once here, but... Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. But I get that kind of, I can get that sort of echoing around in the background and then also have a, a mix of Slow this. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute, come sit there with me. I... And, and help to create some depth going on through the background. And now I can get any kind of combination of all of these things just sort of going at once. So um, if, for example, um, you know, I were to take this effect off here, which is uh, going into the uh, doubler, uh, I believe this is the one going into the doubler, five and six, right? And, uh, and then I were to just, you know, very quickly, let's just kind of throw on something here. I'm just going to take a chance here with a flanger here and then just kind of... Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute, come sit there with me. I can see you're afraid and I don't know what to tell ya you're scared I might fail ya and so you're leaving here before it goes wrong don't you know you can't keep running from where you belong okay so uh what I can do here and this is not uh this is not the greatest example here I'm just going to take this and I'm going to mute it out of here but feed the output of the plate now into the flanger effect slow down baby take a moment and breathe I can't hear what you're saying mm, stop for a minute come sit there with me I can see you're afraid and I don't know what to tell ya you're scared I might fail ya and so you're leaving here before it goes wrong don't you know you can't keep running from so with this with all of these different things going on with the echoes and the delays and the reverb and Slow the flange, down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can create all kinds of crazy combinations, and this was, wasn't the greatest uh, um, thing. I'm just kind of a quick idea that I threw in last minute, and it didn't really work. But um, just to give you an idea of how you can very creatively just start adding in um, different types of um, uh, effects parameters and then kind of build a multi-layered effect. Like, I'm very much exaggerating this, because in the context of a mix, this is like way too much on the wet side. Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute, come sit there with me. I can see you're afraid, and I don't know what to tell you. You're scared I might fail you. So you're leaving here before it goes wrong Don't you know you can't keep running from Where you belong Again, again And I'll find you, you again So anyway, um, uh, whether disastrous or a big mess or whatever, get the idea that there's a lot of flexibility that uh, is available here in terms of the way that you can route them. And this is why using a send return configuration allows you to do so much more with effects than you ever could. Having multiple sends, having multiple effects, rather than sort of stacking them up in an effect processor that just sort of has them on sliders, um, and then you just kind of mix them in. That's a real quick thing. Uh, great for just a quick mix, but when you get to the final mix, you want a lot more control over it. And Slow down, baby, take a moment and breathe. I can't hear what you're saying. Mm, stop for a minute. 
So a lot more that you can do going on with this. So that's the uh, basic principle here. And uh, that is our mixing tip of the week, which is why send uh, return effects routing is better than insert effects. And uh, that wraps it up, our Mixing with Mike mixing tip of the week.